Question 2. Three experiments uh, are carried out to investigate the reactions of the nitrogen oxide, NO, with the chlorine. So this equation. And uh, NO react with the chlorine to form NOCl. Okay, the re equation is shown here. So it's, uh, uh, it's telling us the NO, uh, the order is a second order, and the chlorine is a first order. Okay, under the conditions used in the experiment 1 and 2, the value of K is uh, 26.4. Okay, part 1, the rate of the reaction is uh, measured in mole per dm cube uh, per second. State the units of K. Um, so we just use the rate equation here. Uh, we substitute the unit to the uh, this uh, uh, this uh, the rate, okay, and the concentration. Uh, so is the uh, mole per dm cube per second equal to the k constant, okay, times the mole per dm cube uh, bracket cube. So eventually, uh, you will get okay after the cancellation. Uh, so you get uh, mole power negative two dm six uh, per second, right? So just uh, doing the comparison like this. Okay, part two. In the experiment one, the initial concentration of the NO and uh, this uh, chlorine, they are equal. The initial rate of the reactions uh, in experiment one is uh, 2.57 times 10 point negative 6 mole per dm cube per second. Uh, so calculate the initial concentration of the NO. Okay, because it's already said NO and uh, this uh, the chlorine, they are equal. So we can assume uh, now uh, the value same. So we can just uh, use the NO cube, the concentration of NO cube, because the chlorine concentration is same as the NO, uh, same value. Uh, so we just substitute the initial rate, okay, equal to the, the rate constant that given just now uh, is here. So times the concentration of NO cube. Right. So I rearrange, so you get uh, 4.60 times 10.83. Uh, mobile dm cube. Okay, this is the initial concentration of the NO for this experiment one. Okay, after that, uh, in experiment two, the initial concentration of NO and the Cl are both ten times greater than the initial concentration used in the experiment one. Uh, so just now we get this four point six times ten point eighty three. Ten times means uh, it's going to be four point six times ten point eighty two. Okay, so substitute this concentration uh, in the rate equation, right? Okay, together with the rate constant. Then you get another rate, so it's uh, 2.57 times 10 point 3. Okay, so this one is uh, the relation uh, or the the rate uh, of reactions in experiment two. Okay, part B. Experiment three use a large excess uh, of this uh, the NO. So means uh, the concentration of the NO will not really affect the rate of reaction now because it's in excess. Now the rate is uh, affected only by the chlorine. So that's the meanings uh, in this large excess. Okay, so the initial concentration of the chlorine is uh, 2 times 10 to the 4 mole per dm cube. Okay. Part 1. The graphs of uh, the chlorine uh, against the time, the concentration of chlorine uh, against time, uh, shows that the reaction has a constant half life. Okay, constant half life means it's uh, first order. Uh, so from this statement, uh, it's telling us the chlorine is first order. Uh, so because the the half life is constant. Okay, explain this observation. So first, let's check back the rate equation. Uh, the rate equation just now is given. Rate equal to the K constants times the NO uh, concentration of NO squared and times the concentration of the chlorine. Uh, because now the uh, NO is uh, in excess, so uh, it will not really affect the rate. So the overall rate, uh, the order is actually first order because this one is, uh, uh, is no longer affects the rate in excess. So means uh, it's actually rate equal to the K, K times the concentration of the chlorine. Uh, so that's the, okay, that's how you explain in this part. Uh, so that's why we say we know that the chlorine is first order. Okay, so, uh, okay, why the 
half life uh, is constant, uh, so it's telling us is a uh, uh, is a first order. Okay. Since the NO is in excess, so the second order of this NO is not really going to affect uh, the the rate uh, and anything uh, in the reaction now. The rate is only affected by the concentration of the chlorine, and therefore the overall uh, this uh, the order is a first order, so it's not really the uh, overall. Uh, uh, okay, this one, uh, two plus one is three. No, okay, it's only one. The first order here. Okay, part two. Under the conditions uh, used in experiment three, the values of the rate constant is uh, one zero five point six. Uh, this one, uh, you need to use the this equation. Half life equal to ln two over k. This one is for the first order reaction. Whenever there is a first order reaction, we must use this equation. So ln two is a constant, k is a constant, so the half life must be constant. So we use a ln two over this k constant that given in the question. So you should get uh, six point five six times ten to the three because uh, it asks you to show that already gave the answer. You just need to show this ln two over k. Part three calculates the time taken uh, in second for the concentration of the chlorine to fall to uh, one point two five times ten point eighty five mole per dm cube in experiment three. Uh, then you need to compare the initial concentration and uh, this uh, the latest concentration. The okay, initial concentration used uh, is uh, two times ten point uh, negative four here, right? Okay, we just compare use initial over the latest, so it's actually sixteen. So means initial is 16 times more than the, the latest one. Uh, so uh, it's uh, basically 2 power 4. Uh, so the numbers of half-life is 4 times. So it's 4 times the 6.56 times 10.3. Uh, so this is a time that taken 0 0.0262. Uh, so again, the half life already given here. Uh, okay, this one. Because we from here we know it's sixteen, so it's uh, four. The numbers of half life is four. So we use four times the half life, we get the total time. So the total time is zero point zero two six two. Okay, C. Sulfur dioxide reacts very slowly with oxygen in atmosphere, forming sulfur trioxide. Okay, the reaction is much faster with the presence of NO. Uh, this one is uh, the reactions uh, that you learn in the S in the nitrogen uh, compound, okay, in that chapter. So you just need to use back uh, the, the reaction uh, equations. Okay, explain the role of the NO in this process. Include the chemical equations in your answer. Okay. First, you need to explain what is the role. The role is a, a catalyst. So the NO now is a homogeneous catalyst. So the catalyst, which in the same phase as a reactant, okay, and uh, is used for the oxidation of the SO two to SO three. Okay, then you just give these two equation. Uh, the NO first you need to oxidize to NO two, then the NO two will react with the SO two to form the SO three, and itself will get reduced back to NO. Then the NO will go back here and oxidize again, and uh, is uh, catalyzed again. Okay, so that's all. Thank you.